Hey guys, my name is Jeff Stone. I'm an independent filmmaker, and lately on my YouTube channel, I've been sharing some recent skits or a backlog of skits that I've had over the years. And these short skits have always helped me kind of figure out my, I guess, voice as a filmmaker, especially like using the tools, how to shoot it, how to edit it, how to produce it, what to write, how to work with other people, how to work with actors and get your idea across. So I think it's good for anybody who wants to be a director, cinematographer, writer, comedian, you know, skits are such a great way to develop your voice. So I figured it'd be a good video to talk about how we produce ours. Skits, as you've seen, can go on a number of different budgets. Like you've seen the SNL skits or Key and Peele. Those are like up there when it comes to budgets. But then also like you've probably seen TikToks and Reels that are shot on phones. And so you can pretty much do anything these days. And I'm sure you've heard that a ton. These ones that I'm going to talk about specifically, they're kind of in the middle. I use a mirrorless camera, whether it's a Fujifilm, X-H2S, X-T4, or Canon R5. I use a couple lights, some lavalier mics, keep it really simple. A lot of times we come up with the idea in a day. So this one I'm going to go over isn't on my YouTube channel because we specifically made it for uh, promoting a college event. But yeah, this one specifically was made with a mirrorless camera, one lav mic, two lights. I'll put what I used in the description, but um, like I said, you can pretty much make really quality skits even better than this one with your phone. But yeah, the core of this video isn't necessarily, I guess, the tools we used, but mainly aimed towards beginner filmmakers that want to figure out how to block it, how to shoot it, how to cut it together, just how to go into the filming of it so you're not like scrubbing through hours of footage or spending hours on set, you know, wasting time trying to get what you need so that you can kind of come up with an idea, rehearse it, shoot it, and then get out of there and edit it and get something out so that you can learn and move on to the next one. So obviously to start with is the idea. This one is geared towards promoting an event. So the guy here uh, is my English professor, Joel Warden, um, or he was my English professor when I was a student. So for this specific one, Joel has an idea of what he's gonna say, and then he has an idea of what these student reporters are gonna say. So these students are acting as reporters and they're gonna kinda come in and ask him questions. So, and then I just came in and helped like assign a line, you know, so like, we position them in this way. We've got a key light here and a backlight here. And uh, we're literally going to go one. He's going to say a line. He's going to say a line. She's going to say a line. This is my dude, Hari. He doesn't say a line in this, but um, but he's in the background, you know, just fake taking notes with his finger on his other hand. Um, and so then this is the same setup, same key light, face this direction, backlight just shooting off to the side, very limited set up really quick we had no time to really prepare anything specifically any shots or didn't storyboard this didn't shot list this and had no script so but basically what we did was we kind of came up with the script so like i said he had the idea of what he's going to say and then he had the idea of what they were going to say and we rehearsed it so before we ever rolled camera we made sure that everybody knew what they're going to say that way when we rolled camera you're not recording each person five times waiting for the fifth time for them to get it right you've let them mess up a couple times and in this case everybody got it pretty early on but we did a couple rehearsals beforehand but before we get into it let's watch it good morning everyone thanks for coming so i've got a great announcement for you this morning you're running for president no. You're officially changing name to Golden Bacon? Not officially. No. We've got registration week next week, and this year's theme is carnival. Carnival? Really? So we're gonna party? I mean, it'll be fun, but no, it's carnival, not carnival. Is that because the registration software is such a circus? No, it's because carnivals are fun. There's games, prizes. This year, we're giving away a grand prize of $200 cash. And you actually have a chance to win that. You might recall years past, you had the chance to win $5 for playing me. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Okay, so very simply, it's basically two angles. One's facing this way, it's facing Joel, and the other one's facing the student reporters. And each time somebody says a line, I only had one lav mic, so each time somebody says a line, they're mic'd up. So when we filmed all of Joel's takes, it's just two takes all the way through of Joel delivering his lines. He'd go through the whole scene and we did his after we filmed theirs. One reason is that everybody had a couple times to go through the whole scene 
so that we knew how it could flow before we recorded Joel's. So we had the rehearsals, and then we filmed each person's take specifically. Each one of their lines in the beginning is just one shot, and it's their line. And so I knew it cut together because, you know, we practiced, we went over the script, and so then we put the, we'd literally stop, put the mic on Makai here to deliver his line. You know, we'd cut it back with the original Joel, come back, stop, put the mic on Maria, and then edit those together. Hopefully those make sense. I'm trying to make it make sense, but we'll see. The logistics were pretty straightforward. I tried to get like an over the shoulder to make it feel like it's kind of like you're in the scene with them. But yeah, the real technical logistics is it's the same, like I said, it's the same lighting setup, key light, backlight, mic has mic'd up in a lav mic, like mic might be in here in his jacket, and then theirs is just tucked into their shirts. His is like right here on, on the M inside his shirt. His is clipped in right here. Hers is on her inside of her sweatshirt there. And But it's just one at a time because we only had one, like I was saying. I guess some things to think about, too, while you're, while you're coming up with an idea for a skit is to think about what sound effects or music or what surprises can you throw in to kind of surprise the audience because that always goes well. Those comedic moments always go well. Like in this moment, he's like, you guys can't beat me. And then we do... This record scratch cut to these quick cuts of everybody like crushing him. Whenever you film something, you always have regrets. That's kind of the point. You film something to get a little bit better, film something else. So one I have is uh, audio. Sometimes the audio doesn't always work out. Like when you watch this back, you can hear some some scratches of clothes wrestling up against you know, the lav mic. So it's always good to maybe have like a secondary source, but sometimes you're trying to record something quick and on the fly, you've got a low budget. So you're just trying to you know, make do with the tools you have. So, you know, live and learn and move on to the next one. But it's by failing at things like that, you kind of learn and take it into the next one. But I guess coming to the big takeaways is, you know, when you're starting, I would try to keep your skits below a minute, you know, so that you, where you can kind of come up with a beginning, middle and end that fits within a minute, keeps it quick. Uh, you can film it quick, you can edit it quick, and then you can just get back to going again. And then the big advice I'd have just for anything that you're getting involved in, whether it's a skit, a film, a script, a joke, whatever is, really put a lot of emphasis on the end because the end is in my opinion you know the most important it's what you leave the audience with it's the last feeling of it and sometimes things can be saved by the ending i think you can keep the audience with the beginning but you can really leave a great impact at the very end so ours is kind of like this final shot with a nice beat of music that i think kind of like captures the tone of the whole skit so yeah that's pretty much it on this one if you have any questions that i kind of didn't answer in this ask them in the comments i'll be glad to answer anything logistical um hopefully we can do more videos like this diving into kind of how we film some things and figure some stuff out and i guess the last thing i'll leave you with is after you finish one skit do it again you know make another one because that's really the only way you're going to learn is by making stuff and continuing to put stuff out there and continuing to learn you know your weaknesses your strengths and of course, how to get better on the next one.